the importance of speech testing. That's our topic today on Ask the Hearing Doctors. Hi, I'm Jim Cuddy, and this is Ask the Hearing Doctors, and I'm joined today by Dr. Ashley Wilcox, Dr. Adriana Martino, doctors of audiology with Hearing Doctors, the Washington, D.C. area's highest-rated audiology practice with over 1,500 five-star reviews. Adriana, Ashley, great to see you both. Thank yes, you. Well. So we're always talking about testing for hearing. Today, we're talking about speech testing. What is the purpose of speech testing? Yeah, so um, when somebody initially comes in for um, a hearing test, we test two things. So you're testing the ability for you to detect tones. And then the second part that um, most people don't think of is your ability to under understand speech. So we also evaluate speech. That's important because in your everyday life, you communicate with speech. So it's crucial that we test that mm -hmm. in the office. All right, so now let's talk about some of the tests that you do uh, in speech testing. Now, there's SRT, Speech Recognition Threshold. What is that? Yeah, so after you're listening to those beeps or the pure tones, we're going to move on and we're going to start with the speech testing. So we're going to ask you to repeat words that you hear, and the words are called spondees. They're two-syllable words, so baseball, hot dog, playground. And all we want you to do is repeat back the word that, you're, that you hear. And the goal is to repeat back 50% of the words correct at the softest level. So, and that's per ear. So we'll eventually we'll play it louder and we'll get softer and softer until you don't know what they're saying. And then we'll bring it back up and whatever that, uh, that, less, that decibel is, that is your SRT. And the reason why we do that is it further helps us with the next part of the speech testing. It gives us um, a starting level. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the next part of the speech testing is word recognition. So mm -hmm. your ability to discriminate and understand the words at a level that's presented that's appropriate for your hearing. So typically what people, um, audiologists will do is it's about 30 to 40 um, decibels sensation level above your SRT. Mm -hmm. So if, um, for an example, if you got an SRT at 20 decibels, you're going to present at 60 decibels or 50 decibels. Mm -hmm. And what we're actually presenting is another word list. So um, in this word list, it's a little bit different from the spondees that you would hear. It's a word list that's specific, um, that's recorded. And um, this word list is usually 25 words to 50 words that you'll hear. It starts with a phrase, say the word dog. As the patient, they would just repeat that last word, which would mm -hmm. be dog. After we get that tallied up of the 25 words or the 50 words that you've repeated back to us, we scored out of 100%. So if you got, let's say you got two words, you misunderstood two words, okay, then your score for that ear would be 92%. Mm -hmm. And then we would do the same thing on the other ear. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, another one, MCL, most comfortable listening level. Mm -hmm. What are we looking for there? So that we're looking for the most comfortable level. If you had to listen to sound or speech at that level all day, when I do it, um, I like to tell the person, if I were a radio and you had to listen to me all day, is this a comfortable listening level or do you want me louder or softer? It just helps further determine the appropriate gain for the hearing aid so you're listening at a comfortable level. We don't want anything uncomfortable or you know not audible enough. All right, now the next one, UCL, uncomfortable listening level. I'm assuming this is the opposite of the comfortable. Yes, so this is very important. Um, what we're looking for is the most uncomfortable listening level, and it, we're playing uh, different beeps for this. It's not words, typically. So if we want to find the point where if it were to be any louder, it's almost painful. And the reason why this is important is it allows us to ensure that your hearing aid will never go over that level. We never want your hearing aid to exceed your UCL because that would be painful and it's not good. Right, right. So you're actually controlling that, that 
operand or whatever whatever the correct terminology yeah. would be for that. Mm -hmm. All right. Now something else, speech in noise testing. What is that? Yeah, so um, that's a test called Quixen. Also, there's another test that's called Hint that you could do. Um, in our practice, we do Quixen. Um, but what it is, is it's a speech and noise testing. So it puts somebody in a real world, as real world as we can get in the office, mm -hmm. a real world experience. Um, people who have hearing loss or hearing deficit, um, the most challenging environments is when you are in background noise. So with the speech and noise testing, we actually present noise in the background while you read off it, repeat back a sentence to us. So we're testing to see if you're able to decipher what's speech and what's noise, and then that allows us to better fit you with a hearing aid mm -hmm. and recommend what's best for you, mm -hmm. technology level wise. Right, right. That's covering a lot of bases. Mm -hmm. you, just, I just, you just don't think of these things when it comes to the hearing problems, but it, it's, it's nice that you, you cover all of these kind of real world, um, real life experiences. Mm -hmm. Can, can you complete speech testing with patients who have, say, strong dialects, different languages, that kind of thing? Yeah. yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's really dependent on the person, but as long as they know what tasks they're given and they feel comfortable, then yeah, um, I've done it and I'm sure yeah. you've yeah. done it as well. Yeah, definitely. So it's something that is available in many languages. So. Yes, um, I know we also uh, do speech testing in Spanish. Um, Dr. Anzola here at Hearing Doctors speaks Spanish, so that is very nice um, yes. for those who don't speak English. Um, so, because we, we just need, speech testing is very important for your goals and your, your capabilities. So we just, it's very important for us to know. Yeah, so what is the end goal with speech testing? So the end goal is to just really know your ability to hear and process speech. Speech is part of our communication every day. So if you're unable to hear those words clearly and process those sounds, it's going to take an effect and help us take into consideration some counseling techniques we can give you, what best hearing aid is suited for you. Um, we just, it's so important for our testing and it's, it's very necessary. So it just allows us to know how are you able to communicate and how are you able to hear speech because everyone is different and not everybody can hear speech clearly. Not everybody for their word recognition score will have a high hundred percent. So we need to know where you stand because that helps us, you know, give you advice and give you techniques. I, yet again, I, I just never realized how much goes into mm -hmm. uh, testing for, for, for people's hearing loss and things like that. Obviously, speech is a huge part of it. Thank you for bringing that to us today to our attention and teaching us a little bit more about it. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. If you're in the Washington metropolitan area and you'd like to schedule an appointment with hearing doctors, click the link in the description or visit hearingdoctors.com.